So then let's look at the seller side on that. Now the sellers recline and you've got, you know, a market that's favoring them. How do you position them well? Um, so first step is run comps. Make sure you see the houses that you can get into still that are active in that market. And then when you list it, you prepare the seller like a buyer. You prepare a buyer, you prepare a seller. Like, listen, we could get multiple offers or we could get nothing for a month. You know, it's... No one can tell the future. Obviously, you can tell them in more detail than that. But, um, and then when we get multiple offers, you kind of just scan through them and see what's the best written contract. Not just and prepare your sellers. That's not always just price. You want it to go from ratification to closing. You don't want much room for them to be able to get out of the contract. And you call their lender. You make sure they have a financial information sheet well filled out, and um, that's. Good starting point. I think definitely setting expectations with either buyer or seller, but a lot with the seller. Um, because with a low inventory, they're like, well, let me ask for 100000 over, you know, what it really is. And it, it's still bringing them back to reality of, of the current marketplace. And, um, you know, when you're showing them and presenting them the comps, knowing what's going on in that um, marketplace and kind of where things are, and knowing their timeline also, um, if they're planning to move out of state and they need to be settled on this home before they go, then we're looking at a shorter time frame, which means all the other pieces need to be in place and a great price to get it there um, to move them. So I, it's also important to know your seller's situation because then that helps you and gives you ammunition on how you need to help set their expectations. Yeah, I would agree totally with, with what they just said. And I think the biggest thing is setting the expectation because if you get multiple offers, which I've heard before, I've had a seller say to me, you priced my house too low. So the reality of it is if you're in a market where you have low inventory and, and uh, multiple offers are expected, you want to make sure that you have that conversation up front because, again, you don't want to be in a situation where you say, you know, they come back and say, well, you priced my house too low. You know, and then they think that they've really got something on their hands and they become unrealistic in the negotiation.